Track 39. An extract from The Boy Who Biked the World by Alastair Humphreys. Part 1. Why don't you come and meet my family? Abai asked Tom. You can spend the night with us, and you can try some Ethiopian food, some unjera. Thanks a lot. That would be great, said Tom. I'm always hungry these days, and I would love to see your house. So Tom waved goodbye to the crowd of children. They all smiled and waved back at him. Then he pushed his heavy bike, helped by a bye, across the dry and stony fields towards a bye's house. Tom was feeling much, much happier. Abai's parents, three brothers and two sisters, all came out of the small house. They were very surprised when they saw Tom. Abai explained that Tom came from England and was riding his bike all around the world. The family gasped in shock, then laughed, then eagerly took Tom into the house. He was a very unusual visitor. Abai told Tom that he was very welcome in their home. And they had arrived at the perfect moment, dinner time. There was plenty of food for Tom as well as all the family. One of the things that Tom was enjoying most about riding around the world was trying so many different kinds of food. It was not always delicious, but it was always interesting. Ethiopian food was one of the most unusual he had tried so far. Track 41 Part 2 They all sat on a floor around a low circular table. The family asked Tom lots of questions about his expedition. A bai, or his dad, the teacher, translated the questions. Then Abai's mum placed a large round tray on the table. It was covered with what looked like a huge pancake. This bread is called injera, said Abai. In Ethiopia, we eat it almost every day. On top of the injera were heaps of stews and cooked vegetables. There were no plates or knives or forks. Abai showed Tom how to eat in the Ethiopian style. He tore off a piece of injera with his hand and used it to scoop up some vegetables. He popped it into his mouth and smiled as he chewed. Next, it was Tom's turn. The whole family watched Tom's face to see if he liked the food. Abai's mum, who had cooked the meal, watched the most carefully of all. Tom tore off a piece of injera and began to eat. After such an eventful day, Tom was really hungry, so the food tasted especially good. He smiled and said, Amaseganalo, which means thank you in Amharic. He liked the food very much. It was very spicy. Part 3 Everyone laughed. They were happy that Tom enjoyed their food. Now the whole family began to eat together. Everyone ate from the same giant piece of injera, sharing the food. Everyone was talking all the time, as well as eating all the time. It was a very noisy meal. There were so many questions to ask, and so much to learn about each other's countries. Abai's mum was shocked to learn that people in England do not eat injera. And Tom learned that in Ethiopia, it was actually a different year to England. The Ethiopian calendar is seven years behind the rest of the world's calendar. Even telling the time is different in Ethiopia. Rather than starting a day at midnight, as Tom was used to. On Ethiopian time, the day begins at sunrise. 
so one hour after sunrise is called one o'clock in the morning. In the morning, as he packed up his sleeping bag and prepared to ride, Tom thanked his new friends for looking after him so well. The family waved right until he had ridden out of sight. Abai's kind family had really cheered Tom up, and he was excited about his adventure once again. Track 41 Chewed Watched Children Cheered Adventure Actually